Hey guys, 1.5 here, again with another video. This um, thing's gonna be a sneak peek to the next episode, but I'm gonna show you how you can unbrick your um, Zade MP3 player. And then, um, excuse me if I show my face, I'm not supposed to. But, um, or Quay, I don't know, they say, it's like a weird brand name for, uh, yeah, because you can't pronounce it, but um, you just turn it on. Quag, whatever it is. It's a Q right there. And then you can see the rest. You can see the GoPro. Well, Alright, so we're going to be focusing at this top part right because um you see no lock now there's a lock you see that that's because it's bricked and for this specific model um i found out a way to fix it so i'm gonna go do something real quick and i'll be right back okay <sighs> Alright, so I did that quick thing, and all you need to do, quick start, this is an example of what the screen would be like if it's broken. You go in your menu, and then you wait for Google services and crap, and it says just a sec, and it says just not signed in, and it says... To use this device, you first have to sign into an owner's Google account to in use on this device when it was last reset. Because you haven't done so, you have to set up the device again. So if I click set up device, start, and I go next, and then I try again, so it's the same thing. And it's just a never ending loop. So. Um, what I found is for a specific device, just spam any blank space other than the start. So just whatever space you like. It's going to show a connect to Wi-Fi network, network or whatever. Um, really, this is the main point. You have to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And you might need to click see all Wi-Fi networks because it's not going to show them all. So I'm going to log into my Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to type this in. Um, there we go. Logging in. Checking for updates. Sometimes it might not say the checking updates. You might have to click back. Um, you don't click the start button. This is, um, you spam at any blank space. Because that's how you do it. And this is just a sec. It's going to do some crap. It's going to see, your phone was reset to factory settings. To use this phone, enter your previous PIN. So, I just set my PIN to 1234. But you can use your, um, Google account instead if you want. Um, I might actually just use the pin because sometimes if you don't have a pin, you can just completely bypass this. You don't even need to enter any Google. So if you have a pin and you don't remember the, um, pin or your Google account, um, that's actually bad because you can't, um, use it. But I'm going to try and go back. Oh, okay. So if it does this. You actually have to go back and then redo it because um, it won't automatically open the um, menu. Sometimes it doesn't like to do it, just spam it. It's going to do checking for updates if you're already connected. And verify your pin, just do 1234 if you know your pin. It's not 1234, probably not. But if I, um, it's going to check info. This is supposed to be a camera. Since this thing has zero cameras, it's supposed to be like an enrollment, like, you know, MDM. 
like to manage the device but it doesn't have any camera so you can just press this right here and it'll stop um you'll just end up at the menu but yeah, as you can see there's no lock icon now because you've um logged in and you can just go back once you've logged in you don't have to actually do it you can just because it'll be unlocked so now you can just hit start and then just and now your device is um well unbricked because um before it would um you had no way to like log in to your whatever account it was you would have no way, and it just wouldn't let you. But through this weird camera, QR code scanning setup, that's what it said. But anyways, when you do it, it's essentially trying to make like an MDM. And it needs Wi-Fi to do that, any of that. And it also detects, it's basically the normal setup because it found out that it's like you know because it, it tried it does basically the normal setup and it has it on lock in that menu but when it gets to the camera it just can't do the camera and when you try to flip the camera it just won't work because um well it has no camera um this is specifically for your m505 pro or i don't know yeah my model is the M505 Pro, but uh, I don't know if you can do this on a different model, but if you like factory set it through, I, um, you know, the recovery mode. It's a weird way to get into this recovery mode is to, um, basically you want to just shut it off. I'm also going to do um, a tutorial on how to recover your device um once it's completely off oh you guys do not want to see me you want to hold these two buttons together for i don't know until the screen actually turns on it should have no zade screen it should just go straight into this you can't see this but if it's on recovery mode like the air is pointing towards the recovery mode which is at the top if it's not on the recovery mode selected, you can just select the recovery mode like that and then press the volume down. It says volume up to select, volume down is okay. So if you press volume down, it'll say like a weird Zade. This looks absolutely like jailbroken. You're gonna see this no command screen. Yeah, you might think, oh well, there's no way to get past this. Just, um, Press hold this um, power button for two seconds, and then press this button, and then let go of both buttons. So, one, two, and then press this, and then let go. And now, as you can see, we're in a recovery mode now. And you can do whatever you wanted to do in this recovery mode. Um, I actually accessed a secret um, factory set. Well, not a secret. It's a secret menu for like um the uh factory test i found it in the um settings if you tap like the uh i think it's like the device or model if you tap that five like a few times like at least two or three and there's like the swipe device and i had a google account sign in so it completely locked me out of it and i was like actually annoyed because I didn't know how to get into this, but, um, Hunter is one of my, Hunter, um, he helped me figure out how to unlock this. He thought, like, maybe it's, like, almost, like, developer options, and he just, like, tapped it randomly. Um, and then he showed me, he got it in, and he was like, oh, wait. I was like, oh, wait, it's actually working. I thought he was just going on with the normal setup, but then it went into some weird crap, and I was like, wait, is it loading a web page? 
but it was actually a camera i realized after but anyways we're in that menu right now so tap on about device and then build number i'm pretty sure it was oh my gosh no now it's not letting me through <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, so I clicked this right here. It says reset device. Um, that actually bricked it. Kind of. But, um, that's it's basically an FRP bypass. Except it's not an FRP bypass. All the tutorials are telling me to connect to Wi-Fi, then log in. Because they were just skipping at first, and then they actually used Wi-Fi. I didn't have the option to connect to Wi-Fi. The setup was like insanely short and I was like, wait, why can't I connect to Wi-Fi? Why can't they just add it and that would fix everything? But it turns out they also didn't add the like, the re Google screen, but that weird MDM enrollment screen saved me. And I can't list, like before, I can't list a single time MDM saved me somehow. This is the only time MDM stuff saved me. I wish MDM never exist, but now I do. Because <laughs> this saved this device from, well, Amazon returns in garbage bin. Yeah, so I'm going to do a review. I made a mod pack, but that's gone now. Because I accidentally clicked wipe device. Um, I'm just going to recreate it. So, uh, bye guys. Hope you enjoyed that how to recover video. Yeah.